And we're back. And we're on Oasis, and I skipped forward just a little bit so that I could finish off all this insulation all the way around the edge. Th there was no need for you to hang around for that. Kind of a boring job, but it's all done now. It's not perfect. Some heat leaked in in a few spots because, well, I was a bit greedy in taking space. I wanted as much space as possible for my base. But as you can see, center of the base is still nice and cool. My crops are alive. Everything's good. Now that all that's done, we just want to take stock of what's the next plan. Now, I have quite a bit of water, actually. I, I've heard of people who got so unlucky they only got four tiles of water on this map. Uh, barely survived on that, it turns out. They had divers long and a few other things going on for them. They stuck with three dupes. It was nightmarish. I am not in that situation. I have plenty of water and I've got some time to take care of a few side projects if needs be. Uh, one pro side project I put in here was just a, a carbon sink. Well, a carbon skimmer. Now, all I've done with the carbon skimmer is I've just made it closed looped. Clean water goes in here, it skims out some carbon, it comes out as polluted water, gets filtered and sent right back in again. Power wise, I am still running on a single wood burner that is powering all my equipment, which is bad, probably? That, that's not great. I should really do something about that. Now, for the next projects, I have several options. Uh, I don't really need to care about water, but what I want to do set up is set up toilets. People have been advising me, you should use the toilet recycling, use the toilet recycling. I don't particularly like doing that. Recycling uh, polluted water out of toilets and turning it into clean water with germs in it and throwing it back in, I frown upon it, but, well, people seem to want, to, want it, so I'll do a quick build of it. Uh, okay, so first off, we'll just uh, give ourselves some space to work with. I've set that door there so that it's a, a one-way pass-through, so dupes, any dupes that come in here have to exit at that direction. Uh, another thing I've done is I've put all the polluted dirt here. I haven't I haven't started putting it through, um, what do you call them, composts? I haven't used composts. There's a reason for that, I'll get into it later, but first I'll just set this up really quick. Uh, all I'm doing here is putting in the pipes ahead of time. And over here we've got uh, a water sieve and our liquid reservoir. I just, I, I've done, well, I know enough about the game that I know where most of the things are at this point. For example, if we put in the plumbing here, we'll throw in a toilet. Uh, you'll notice, yep, there's the input line at the bottom. The output line will be that green one at the top. So you can generally, once you've done this a few times, you actually know where all the plumbing's going to go. You can do it up in advance, and be good to go when the time comes. And that goes there, and in the sinks, exact same thing for the sinks. So I'll just wire those up. Wrong one. We'll wire those up in advance, just so that everything goes in nice and quickly when the time comes. Oh, and I'll throw in one sink as well. We can, we can fire this up on one sink and one toilet, and then it's just a case of demolishing the old ones and putting in the new ones. Medicine. Give me a sink done. Now, refinement-wise, this is this is so straightforward, it's, it's just painful. This is the output lines. These are the output lines for the polluted water. We plug that into the input line of the water sieve, and then we output the polluted water here, and how am I going to do this? Uh, something like this. So, the clean water, well, clean, it's going to be full of germs, will be output this direction and go all the way across here, and go right back into the toilet and sink system excess water we're going to have well overflow uh, when it comes to bridges the white sucks in and spits it out across the other side so if we just have an overflow here the moment this backs up this will overflow and we'll dump it into this liquid tank i think i'm just going to run the excess out of here i'm going to use the clean water and i'm going to run the the clean germy water and dump it right back into my oxy ferns but that's pretty much it oh power yes power would be a good idea as well don't forget that we'll run that across and done that's it. That's pretty much all it takes to do it up. I'll have to seed in some water to get it started, but that's the general gist of how you get your, your toilets and sinks running on, um, at, well, being recycled. Uh, for plumbing-wise, we'll just throw in a quick pipe system here. Oh, I've already done up the plumbing for that, haven't I? Yeah, we'll do that across there. And there we go. That should be it. I'll just fast forward this a bit until the, the, the building's all done. That was incredibly quick. Ooh, why is that stopping there? I wanted that to continue on. Ah, bridge. I have a bridge here, so if I deconstruct that bridge... Should that water flow on? Why are you not flowing on? Hmm. Oh, I got an idea. What we'll do is we'll just reverse the flow. Uh, yeah, we'll put that there. That should draw the water towards it, I believe. There we go. That gets me a nice full system to work with. I'll delete this liquid bridge now. And we can replace the other one. 
Problem solved. All the water mopped up. Even got a little bit down there. Everything done. Now it's time to... Well, now it's time to rip out all the old toilets and move to the new. And there we go. Well, sort of. Once these, uh, once these are in, I'll have three toilets and three sinks on plumbing. I can just rip out the last two. I just don't want to get caught flat-footed when this is transitioning across. I don't know if the direction left. Oh. And here you will see the polluted water going in. Getting sieved, getting turned into clean water, and then getting spit back out. Done. And that is... Well, that's recycling your clean toilet water. Uh, the reason I don't like it is it's just too easy. At this point, you can stop worrying about your toilets. Well, not quite. you still got to keep this powered. You've got to keep it fed with sand. So it's not perfect. However, it's not that difficult, really. Uh, this here is uh, this liquid reservoir. That's going to start filling up with water after a while. Once the system backs up, there'll be a little bit of a, a backup for after a while, and that will start filling up with clean water. When it does, I'll show... Oh, actually, there we go. Uh, as you can see, it's full of food poisoning germs. However, it's in clean water, so it will slowly start to die off. You can use chlorine and a few other bits and bobs to get rid of it. But I don't want that backing up. If I leave that there, at some point, that will become a problem. Uh, I don't like leaving anything around that is eventually going to, well, do me over. And you know that will do me over. At some point, I will you know, I will come back, that will be black backed up, and all my toilets will be backed up. And then I'll have you know, dupes having accents all over the place. So I'm just going to run this down the side here. Yeah, that seems fine. We'll run this over here, and we'll plug it into this. Because of the way bridges work, this should give priority to this pipe coming in. So any excess water, well, this water here will get sent down here. And since the only thing down here is plants, that germy clean water can get eaten by the plants and turned into oxygen. Perfectly fine with that. And it prevents uh, this from backing up. Well, it should, assuming the oxyferns keep running. Why do I feel this is going to come back and bite me? One simple side project, all done. Now, next up, we're going to want to get a few other things done. Oh, before I get into the next project, uh, I just wanted to discuss polluted dirt and why I'm dumping it all into some storage bins. Normally, you just throw them into... Where is this? Refinement? Uh, compost. If you throw them into a compost, perfect. The polluted dirt gets turned into dirt, and then you can use that dirt in your crops. However, it leads to one minor complication that annoys me. That complication is the dirt that comes out of it, the polluted dirt, is going to be full of germs. That's normally not an issue. All your dupes have to walk past the sinks and will wash their hands after they've touched the dirt. The complication arises when they pick up the dirt, walk past the sinks, wash their hands, and then dump that dirt off in the food area. Uh, the dupes, when they drop off the dirt, will also absorb germs from the dirt, dropping it off. So at that point, you've got a dupe outside the bathroom, covered in germs, and they're in your crop area, and they're... There's a chance they'll pick up some food and bring it back to, say, here, your ration box. Which is why some of my ration boxes have, uh, well, my meal lice have germs on them. It's usually not the end of the world, but what I like to do now, or what I'm planning on doing, is I'm just going to keep that polluted dirt in a box right beside a deodorizer, so I don't have to worry about it. And then later on in the game, once I've weaned myself off meal wood and I don't have to worry about throwing polluted dirt with germs in it into my crops, I'll uh, then compost all the dirt. Until then, I don't care. Also, composts do generate an awful lot of heat, so I'd prefer not to use them just yet. So we'll give it a little bit of time. Uh, in the meantime, I'll just finish off that piping. Or that should get finished off there. Ah, oh, there we go. There's a dupe in to do it. As you can see here, the dupes can only go one way. Very handy thing about these doors. So that way, they have to walk back through here and wash their hands. If there anyone comes in here, they have to go back out past the hand-washing stations. So, next up, we've got several projects we could possibly tackle. First one would be putting in ranches for hatches. If I put in ranches for hatches, I'm going to be expanding out and digging out these areas here, and when I do, I'll find hatches, so it'd be nice to have those ranches up and running, but I'm not going to do that just yet. What I want to do first is actually get up an, ar an arbor tree acorn farm. Uh, arbor trees, it takes 18 cycles for an arbor tree to grow and give you this central trunk, and then after that grows, it can then start putting out branches, and they take about another 18 cycles, I think, to grow. However, the important bit is a pip can come along to an arbor tree and rummage through it to try and get a seed. So what I want to do is take advantage of that and create an area where I can plant a bunch of arbor trees using uh, pips, then dig them all up after the pips of after 18 cycles once the pips have rummaged through them to see if I get any seeds, and then let them plant them again, and just let that keep going on ad nauseum so I can sort of farm these constantly. To do that successfully, I'd really like a nice big ranch for them that's all dirt, or well, that's all natural tiles, and I think this is the perfect set here. It's 
right in line with my floor section and I can make a nice big long ranch and it will have nothing but natural tiles beneath it. Uh, this should be about right. Uh, it's all natural tiles and I'm actually putting in a little door here so that my dupes can still get in and out. I might just replace that with a wall later for, but for the time being I don't want to limit my options. Now have I done the research on this yet? Actually I have hammered out a lot of research in the background. All of the uh, incubator stuff uh, everything up to conductive wire bridges. Oh, I haven't done smart batteries. That would should be my next port of call. Fire poles, of course. Uh, refinement, mm, supercomputers, all of this stuff. The the basics just for getting what you really want up and running. Now that means I can put in. I can turn this into a ranch. However, I'm not going to turn it into a ranch just yet. The reason being, I don't want to ranch the pips until I've got something to feed them, and they feed on arbor trees. So you have to actually plant the arbor trees first and then since I'm going to be using wild arbor trees to feed them in testing it took two arbor trees to keep eight pips fed eight groomed pips fed so what I'll do is I'll just put in hmm, actually do I want to groom them or do I want to just let them go wild now that I think about it I don't need them for the food for food I'm going to be using hatches so no need to worry about any of that I'll just do oh, sweep all I do however want to sweep this entire place out Reason being, I don't want any... Ooh, wait, I don't want to sweep up that egg. I don't want any of these, uh, any other seeds getting planted in here except acorns. Acorns are the only thing that's going to get planted in here, just so I can take full advantage of, well, farming the trees. I swear, this is one of the most time-consuming parts of the game, is actually sweeping up. I try to avoid sweeping as much as possible. I prefer to have the raw materials just lying about the place. But when it comes to pips, you can't leave them with anything. Uh, once this is all swept up, we'll just dump in a bunch of arbor acorn seeds in here, and once that's done, the, we'll just let the uh, leave a pip in here to go plant whatever they want. So, I've dropped off one pip. I now have, I think, eight arbor acorns in here. That pip can go nuts planting those, and this will become my arbor acorn farming location. Now, that project's done. Next up, I think I'm going to get into ranching. I want to get some hatches up, or at least the, the basis for a few ranches up, so I can start producing hatches when the time comes. I think I'm going to break out here. I've been looking around on the temperature map, and it's actually quite temperate on this side. It's about 50 to 60 degrees, pretty much all the way around. Until we get to about here, it starts getting up into the 70s. This whole side is actually ooh, pretty warm, and there's a volcano over there. So I think this whole area is pretty much off limits. So my best bet is to go out over this side. I am thinking up high, go out across here. It won't interfere with my CO2 pit down the bottom. And I can investigate these one, two, three, these four neutronium patches and hopefully find something useful. But first, ranching, because ranching is really important on this map. You have so much sand that you can feed so many hatches for so long. Totally worth the investment. Uh, so I just need to put in a ranch down here. And that's most of the actual ranch, or all required to make that ranch. I will put in a second one down here just below it. That'll give me enough to support about 16. Uh, I'm more than likely going to put another one, another two over this side as well. That will give me plenty of eggs. The reason I want to go with hatches, heat resistance. I don't have to worry about heat after that. I can pump 70 degree oxygen into the base and not care about it stifling my food. Uh, once I have enough of these up and running, I'll switch entirely over to omelettes, though I'm going to need a dupe to do that, uh, to get into cooking. Uh, Vinnie Van Gogh, you can go into Masterworks Decorating. This means we can also start putting in really nice statues and getting all our dupes well, morale from decor. Uh, the other dupes, Don, uh, D Donny Diggo, he's got improved carrying and up to super hard digging. More diggity is the same. Uh, Doc Dupe, just field research and improved carrying. No need to go too crazy just that yet. Vinny Van Gogh, we covered critter ranching and critter ranching for Pantero and Chitera. So no real surprises on any of those choices. I'm still staying on six dupes because that's what this can support. And oxygen-wise, we're looking pleasant. I mean, the oxygen overlay is a little bit weak at the top because of all the excavation I did. But by and large, this works out quite nicely. Uh, CO2, I had to put in the carbon skimmer because... This wood burner really does generate an awful lot of CO2, just a ridiculous amount. But all in all, this is working out to be pleasant if a little bit slow. I'm stuck on six dupes unless I want to start risking things or dumping in hot oxygen into my base, which I probably will end up doing, to be honest, but uh, not just yet. Anyway, I'll skip this forward a bit until I've got the, these two hatcheries put in. So we're up to two fully functional, well, two ready-to-go uh, ranches, or two hatch... Hmm. 
ranches here. And we've got sand already preloaded and ready to go. And I believe I've got two hatches. I don't know where the second one came from, but I'm not going to lift, look at a gift hatch in the mouse that can join in, in uh, that can get dumped in there. Uh, that's, that's actually really nice for me. Now all I need is about another, well, eight to ten hatches, and I think we'll be on our way. I also need to get my hands on some more refined metal. I think I'm going to go find an oil biome and raid a whole bunch of lead, because lead is probably the easiest way to get your hands on a lot of refined metal early on. And there we go. Two hatches already set up to go. Up here, what are we looking like? Wow, three arbor trees planted already. That's perfect. Uh, I might need to actually put more seeds in there just to make sure that Pip can plant as many as they want. Another thing I want to do is start actually a wild forest. I want to get into ethanol. Well, We'll see how it works out on the resource front on the map. But depending on the oil, the volcanoes and all that, I've actually got eight volcanoes on this map, I've just realized. So petroleum boiling is definitely on the cards, depending on how many oil wells I have. Uh, so next up, I want to put in wild trees. I want to start growing the trees wild, so I have some way of harvesting the uh, mm, harvesting these trees for wood, which I can then either burn in my wood burners, but I'd rather not do that, but preferably turn into ethanol and start some ethanol farming. So let's just queue up some digs here and... Maybe get some pips over here to help out. At this point, I am just going to start demolishing all of this. I don't really care too much about heat management and all that at the moment. We're, we're insulated up. We're good to go. So, the plan here is to take all the arbor acorns from the trees around the map and start planting them up here. This will be their more permanent locations. However, before I do that, I need to get rid of all the mealwood seeds off the map. I have way too many seeds randomly around the place. So what I'm doing is I've got a storage bin over here, and I'm filling it full of all my seeds. Well, not all. I'm going to leave the arbor acorns out there and the oxyfern seeds, because there's no oxyfern left. They're all planted down here, except for... Did it... Did it do plant... They planted something there, didn't they? That should have been queued up for an oxyfern. Yeah, th those little critters really do like to plant stuff everywhere. No. But I'll get rid of all the other seeds from the map so that the only thing left is those arbor tree acorns and then I'll just let them go crazy. Oh, I also found uh, another hatch up here so I'm up to three hatches. Though there is a hatchling egg there because that one was very old, the last uh, hatch I found. When that hatches, that can be added to the collection. Uh, once these start getting up and running as well, I can start getting my hands on some coal. Which would be very nice indeed. Uh, skills... Yeah, you can go straight into actually critter wrenching two. Yeah, critter wrenching level two. So this will become, well, Arbor Acorn Tree Paradise. And, oh, Pantero, how did you manage that? And also, we're going to need to get some mopping going on here. Come on, get out of there before you have an accident. And saved by, well, another dupe that managed to dig them out. All right, time to go demolish some trees. So, after a little bit of wrangling, I managed to get uh, the pips up here planting some trees. I dug up all the trees around from the rest of the map, so I should have a decent crop of wild trees up here in these three layers. Uh, this one I kind of messed up a bit, but uh, I'll fix it later. Should, that needs to be swept up. Uh, that should get swept up into there. I've also enlarged this uh, farming area here so I can get as many of these trees farmed as possible. I want to expand the, the supply of acorns as much as possible, as quickly as possible. How's that doing yet? Yeah, there's plenty of acorns in there now. Now it's time to get out of here. Uh, my water is going down. I'm down past one level, so I want to start going out, tracking down more water, get my hands on gold amalgam, get my hands on some lead. Oh, and uh, I'm farming or ranching these uh, hatchlings, so I've got these incubators not plugged in. It, they, they won't give a bonus to the incubation speed, but it does mean when these hatch, they will automatically get dumped into my, uh, my ranches, which is what I want. Oh, better improve that there. I'm just going to stick on two ranches for now because I really just do want to get out and get some exploring done. Uh, I've been spending too long in the base now. Let's see what's in here first and then we'll probably go up and around and then down for the rest of them. Uh, depending on what it is. Uh, actually, I want to get some ladder tiles here. Okay, that's... You know what? Maybe let's not go that direction. Crud. <laughs> Ah, uh, never mind. Uh, one second. Yeah, I'm just going to wall that back up. Uh, yeah, I have no intention of going out there. We will take a different direction. We're going to head out across here. Yeah, uh, that seems more reasonable. You'll know, we'll just de demolish that there. We can go four tiles high. Uh, we'll see what this holds first. And then we can move on a bit further. 
Yeah. And that's the joys of the game. Now, I know I could use the priority system and just, uh... What's it? Do that. And find out that it's a volcano beforehand. I don't like doing that. It just makes it too easy to to figure out what's happening. I, I want to be forced to dig out to find things. For example, I could just do it to all of them and go, well, maybe this is great, or maybe that one over there is great, and then only go for the ones I need. I like being forced to actually decide, and ooh, what's this down here, actually? There is algae down here and a whole bunch of copper. Is there oxygen? Hmm. No, no. Plan has been made. We're going out of course here. Especially because there's so many pieces of neutronium here we can take advantage of. I'm going to keep this a small exit because I don't want too much heat flowing in and out. Uh, yeah. And we found ourselves our first hatch. Our first wild hatch out in the open. Age 60. That's fine. We will wrangle you and you can be added to the population. Excellent. Now all we need is some water and we're good to go. Finally, some not terrible luck. This is actually good luck. It's a polluted water vent. So it comes out at 30 degrees. However, it will be full of food poisoning germs. So I might want to decontaminate it before I use it. Though I think I should be able to just throw it directly into electrolyzers. And that should be, the f be fine. Uh, that might actually solve a lot of problems. Time to start thinking about putting in a water tank for this. Uh, actually, I'm just going to crack this open right now. The sooner I can get my hands on this water, the better. And uh, we'll also get rid of all of you. And I think I'll just build a big water tank down here. Yeah, something along these lines, I think, will be sufficient. And now we dig a nice big water pit. Uh, I might lose... I might lose a little bit if I dig down that far. Eh, better. That way I can't have any of that water leak out. Water is precious. That should provide most of why water needs. So long as I can electrolyze that and maybe use some of it for cooling. And get my hands on a few more hatches. I could run my base at about 40 degrees, everything should be fine. Mm, though I'd still like to keep those oxy ferns running as a backup just for a while longer. Also, these hatches should now start have, gen have started generating me just a little bit of coal. Not much. How much coal are we looking at? Uh, no, consumable ore. Uh, we got about two tons of coal. I can start switching over to coal generators and start phasing out this wood burner, which will also give me more reliable power. It's just... It's not that these are bad, it's just... Okay, they're bad. Coal is just a more reliable source of power, and I'm more used to it, so I'd, I'd be more comfortable using it. And... Ooh, oil biome. So the great thing about oil biomes now is they contain lead, which is a refined metal. Has a few downsides. One, minus 20 degrees to the overheat temperature. A minus, not a bonus, so it's actually a negative to the overheat temperature of materials. And it has a melting point of about 327 degrees. However, it's useful for lots of small things, uh, mainly wiring. If you want to do heavy watt wire, conductive wire, all that stuff, you can jump on it really early with this. The The only downside is it has an overheat, uh, it's melting point. That is the only difference between it and any other materials you might make it out of. Lead just very handy, and can, on this map, you can kind of live with that heat, actually. Ooh, 75. I might get some scalding if I go in there. Uh, we'll find out. I'll give it a shot. I'll try uh, cutting in here. I also want to check out what's in this, but I think... I think I want the lead more. I want this uh, This water vent is working out quite well for me. That should take care of more sort of my needs. So lead, I think, will be next on the agenda. Then, actually, hatches. Mm. Uh, the problem is this. I want to take this water, electrolyze it so I can get oxygen. Then I can start expanding my dupe population. I don't really have a way of cooling it too much. So what I'll probably do is run this polluted water. It's only about, what's about 30 degrees. So I should be able to get 30 degree water circulating through my base and drag the whole temperature of my base down to about... 40, 50 degrees tops, and keep it there stably no matter what, even if I'm pumping in hot oxygen. Eh, well, that's the theory. And so long as I'm running hatches and using them for all my food, I don't have to worry about stifling my crops. You can run your base really warm, which is sort of the intention for now. Um, the other option is to rush for steam turbines, but I, I want to give a shot at running a hot base. I've never done it before. So if I can get my hands on some wire, that will allow me to run conductive wire, and I can put together a nice big electrolyzer setup. So, uh, I'll finish this off anyway, and then we'll cut back in for some uh, oil oil mining, or, well, lead mining. Uh, a little bit of foreplanning here. I'm going to put in the liquid pump now, before this fills up anymore. Otherwise, I'm going to have to deal with, well, my dupes holding their breath for a long time, and swimming down into some very polluted water. Though, bizarrely enough, it doesn't put germs on them if they swim in polluted water, and... That's scalding, or... Holding breath, soggy feet, toasty surroundings. 
Okay, I want to keep an eye on these. If they start getting scolded, I need to pull them back. What's the temperature at here? 76, 77. Uh, scolding, that is bad. That is bad. We are out of here. First, I need to get up some medical beds. I might have to force my way through there, but we want to get some healing in place just to cover ourselves. I'm not even going to make a hospital. I just want triage cots. Triage cots are perfectly fine for this sort of thing. Actually, a few there as well is fine. A eh, quick set of triage. We'll get uh, more diggity back up and running in no time. Uh, I turned off all of the medicine for everyone. No one's allowed to do any doctoring. I don't want to waste the time. It's seven points of health. There's the, the actual amount of time it would take them to do the doctoring is not worth the effort. Ooh, let's see if my park worked out. I'm trying to actually make a park in here by planting plants. And, ah, I left that door open. That's why they all got planted in there. I didn't want that. So, what I have done here is I have created a room inside my ladder system, just as recommended before. I've got three plants in it, but it's too big to be a, what is it, a park. I want to try and get a nature reserve, which requires four plants. So there's three plants in. I just need to get one more planted. So I've dumped a bunch of uh, mirth leaf seeds up there. And there's about one, two, there's two good places where I can land it, actually three. So there's three places where a plant could be planted. Let's see if the, uh, this, I'm going to leave this pip in here and hopefully they'll take those seeds and plant them somewhere at some point. Well, that's the hope. Now, uh, power-wise, I want to actually hook up these coal generators. I might, hmm, I have an idea to hook up this automation wire to this as well. Eh, might as well use the wood. Actually, mm, no, I won't use the wood. I will just use the coal generators. I'm going to just switch over entirely to those and see what happens. Uh, we're going to set you to about set you to 60. 90, 60. If we leave this on the network and it doesn't actually activate below 25, it should never activate, so long as that is the only battery on the network. I'll have to delete all of these. This should work. We'll find out. That would leave the wood burner as an emergency power, and I'll be burning primarily off coal at that point. And in time, oh, there's another hatchling egg. We'll incubate you, and I might want to put down another one of these. Also, any excess eggs, I am now cracking over here. I'm getting rid of all the stone hatchlings. Oh, all the sage hatchling eggs can also go. I don't want either of those. I've, I've got one cook at the moment. I repurposed one of my Chitera. Given them level one digging. I need a, a general dog's body to do the cooking, but I don't want to hire another dupe just yet. So Chitera will take over for now, and she can take a spin in the skill scrubber later on when the time comes. Now, uh, this water pool over here, it's actually turning out to be quite warm, namely because of all the hot sand and resources around here. But I think it's time to go back in here and get ourselves some lead. There's plenty of tasty, tasty lead in there. I might get a bit scalded getting it, but it's worth getting your hands on the lead. Now, if I do this sneakily and go back and forth a bit, I should be able to get my dupes near without getting them too badly scalded. Uh, you could take another hit. Poor dupes. Okay, you got this, you got this. I think we're just about... Okay, that's too much. Time to go. We'll uh, cancel just this layer here. That should convince you to go back to... Wait, no, you're going to get oxygen. Uh, we'll just uh, assign everyone back to their beds, get them all tuned up and ready to go again. <laughs> yes, this would be a lot easier if I had Atmos suits, but uh, I don't. I could try throwing together a, an electrolyzer right now, but I'd prefer to have the wire to do it. I, I don't mind running back and forth a bit. It's the whole joy of this map is trying to deal with stuff you don't normally have to. Also, I've managed to get three Drecklet eggs in the out of the printing pod, so I stuck in a shearing station. That will give me six pieces of reed fiber, which I can use to start building Atmos suits when the time comes. That way I can send off a few dupes to take care of some problems. And I think, yes, we finally have, we have a nature reserve right outside the bedrooms, right outside the toilets and the dining hall, which means all of my dupes will now get a plus six bonus to morale. What's it looking like right now? Perfect, perfect. That means I can also start putting in some art as well. Well, I really should start putting in some art. Eh, a few statues. Wait, wait, no. They're igneous rock statues. I need to be putting in granite. Fool me once. So... Several large granite statues spread about the place should help uh, improve the decor a bit. I might get any, I might just even out the morale negatives. Uh, the reason being, there is a lot of debris around the place. I haven't taken care of it too well. 
Uh, how is this looking over here? I feel like I should do something to cool it down before I send the dupes in, but... Uh, you know what? It's not too bad in there, is it? It's a bit warm, but as long as I can get my hands on the lead, I think it's worth it. So I think the dupes are heading back in. This water down here is still staying around 40 degrees. You know, while the dupes are recovering, we might as well go down here and find out what this is. Ooh, and there's another one up there, actually. So let's find out what that is, too. So, this has been fruitful. Down here, we have a natural gas geyser. Um, well, it's got 150 degree output temperature, of course, so steel would be best to work with that, but it's free power. And up here, we have a second polluted water vent. Uh, I don't think it's as good as the first one, or... Well, I don't know, it'll require analysis. Actually, I should start analyzing those. And the dupes are getting scolded again because I'm sending them back in here. Come on, dig quicker, quicker. Uh, you know what? That's enough. You can all get out of there. Time to go back to getting healed up again. This is probably the slowest method of digging I've ever encountered. <laughs> okay, come on, get out of there. Good dupes. Ooh, that's going to slow you down a bit on the way out. They got well scolded. Did I get any lead out of it? Uh, refined metal. Nope. Didn't get any lead just yet, but we will. Um, I'll analyze this. This, I'm probably... This was just simplest thing is just pour it down into this tank. It might have overflow issues, but I'm not going to care. More water, the better right now. Uh, this, I'm going to leave until I can get my hands on some steel. And I think because I've got so much water, I think it's time to get an electrolyzer up, which means I need to get food sorted. So time to go around and start digging up all these little uh, chunks. These, uh, what do you call them? These little cracks, cracked rocks. There could be hatches or anything in any of these, so it's time to start going around and targeting them specifically. Get as many hatches as I can, and then increase my hatch farms to four. That should give me enough food that I can support all my dupes that way, and then I can stop worrying about other things like uh, heat. Anyway, I've got about 30 minutes of footage here, so I'm going to cut this out for now. I think we did well today, barring, okay, these multiple triage cuts. Oh, wow, okay, I feel kind of bad for the dupes now after that. Uh, we've got a little bit of decor in, but I doubt it's going to help very much if we check, say... Where's morale? Grizzly meal, last cycle's decor, medium, plus one decor, plus one morale from decor, even with all the plants and statues that I've put in. So this isn't counteracting much all the enormous amounts of negative decor they're going to encounter around the map, and I am not willing to spend 40 cycles cleaning out my base and sweeping it all up. Instead, I'm going to concentrate on getting oxygen up, I've got a nice big chunk... Mm, no. You know what, I'll plan that out in the background. So, lead, oxygen, and the rest of the water on the next map, uh, on the next uh, episode. This episode was just getting everything sorted uh, in the main base. And temperature-wise, still looking good. These things won't stifle until they hit 40 degrees. And they're living on toilet water. Well, some of it. You can see the food poisoning germs there, which doesn't seem to come out in the gases. Let's double check. Yeah, there's no gases coming out with them or no food poisoning germs coming out of them. Perfect way to dispose of your new, new uh, toilet water. Just dump them straight into your oxyferns. Anyway, I'll leave it there. Hope you enjoyed and uh, good luck.